combustion reaction, um, well, I guess the best thing to do would be to show you a combustion reaction. So here's a video of a demonstration I'll do in class at some point. But for right now, let's just take a look at the video here. Boom, there's the combustion. A lot of heat and fire comes from that, okay? So combustion is burning, essentially. All right, so that's what we're looking for. When we're looking at combustion reactions, we're looking at uh, the burning process, okay? So how does that happen? When we look at combustion reactions, it's a process at which something is going to react with oxygen. So you should know that in order for things to combust, oxygen has to react with it. So anytime we combust things, we need some sort of heat that has to be added. We need a fuel, okay? The fuels that we're going to use are metals and hydrocarbons, and I'll talk about that in a second, um, and oxygen. Okay, so we're always going to be reacting something with oxygen. Take a look at the examples over here, O2, 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 O2. You must know that combustion is sustained with O2. Okay, so the two types that we see, metals reacting with oxygen and hydrocarbons reacting with oxygen. Magnesium solid and reacted it with oxygen and produced a magnesium oxide. Okay, and they gave you a solid. And when you go, you go back and balance this, but essentially you were doing a combustion reaction. Now we think of this more as a synthesis reaction than we do a combustion reaction. So these can kind of go either way because we are synthesizing uh, compounds. We're creating compounds from these reactions, but they also give off light. So a lot of these reactions are going to have heat given off and light given off. Now, hydrocarbons are typically your, your combustion reactions. So, so when we look at combustion reactions, we focus mostly on hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons consist of hydrogen, carbon, and some other elements, usually oxygen. So you're going to see carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay? So we're going to look this pretty simple. We're just going to join these two together and make a metal oxide. So your metals burning or combusting with oxygen makes a metal oxide oxide so metal oxide what happens with the hydrocarbon so how do we predict the products of a hydrocarbon reaction well we need to know one of two things we need to know if combustion is complete or if combustion is incomplete uh, essentially it depends on the amount of oxygen available for the reaction okay so if there's a lot of oxygen in the in the air right if we're doing a reaction in the air, there's going to be sufficient oxygen. If we do it in a closed container, like in a car engine or in your furnace at home, we tend to have a minimum amount of oxygen, or not enough oxygen available. And the, 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 the downside of this, or what happens, is that the difference, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is that carbon dioxide forms or carbon monoxide forms. And that's the difference between complete and incomplete combustion. So how do you know? Well, it's going to tell you. It's going to say complete combustion in the problem, or it will say incomplete combustion. Okay. So if we have methane reacting with oxygen in a combustion reaction, okay. One other thing, if you're gonna, the difference in the way you'll know that a combustion reaction is happening in the wording, is it will say burning. Okay, burning or flammable or something to allude to uh, explosion or or something along those lines. Okay. So let's take a look at an example. So here's some examples. I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just going to do one of each just to kind of give you an eye of complete and incomplete combustion. Uh, if you want to try these on your own and we can look at them in class. Um, otherwise, we'll look at some more in, in the homework and in the practice. Okay, so if it tells me that it's complete combustion, it's pretty simple. It's just my products are carbon dioxide, gas, and water, H2O. And the H2O will be a gas. And then I balance it. So I have three carbons. I need to put three carbons here if you need to. Go back and list the elements and do them individually. My hydrogen is eight, so I need to have uh, a four over here. I kind of didn't leave myself enough room, but a four there for the hydrogen to make it eight to match. Now my oxygen are two. I have six here and four here, so that gives me a total of ten. So I need to put a five there. Okay, and there's your combustion reaction. So if it's complete, CO2 and water. If it's incomplete, carbon monoxide gas and H2O. Okay, I'm not going to balance this one. You guys can do that on your own. You get the uh, you should know how to balance at this point. Um, so, carbon monoxide incomplete, carbon monoxide complete, CO2, and that's it. So I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you guys in class.